There's so much stuff. Yeah, I'll hold, I'll hold What's going on here? Oh, yeah. We're good, we're good. That's support. All right. Did you hear the one about a county executive and freeholder who walk into a reservation? No! No! Good. We don't want to hear that one. It wouldn't be a party at the zoo unless I was dressed appropriately. So if you don't mind, I just have to change. I'm ready. My name is Lauren Swedbielas, and I'm a volunteer with the Coalition to Save South Mountain Reservation. I'd like you to look around, thank a neighbor for coming out today. This is a great showing. Showing up, standing up, speaking out. You guys are the best. I'm also a co-founder of Our Green West Orange, a group founded right up the street, right up in the St. Cloud area, in response to trees being destroyed without permits, without regard to the impact on our properties, our community, or on our world at large. Sound familiar? Yeah! That's why we're here. Today I stand before you as a public school teacher to talk about education. This planned amphitheater is intended to teach 500 people at a time. What does 500 people look like? We're almost there with this group. I'd like to tell you a story since there's so many children here at the rally. In the light of the moon, a tiny egg lay on a leaf. One day, the egg popped and out came a very hungry county executive. <laughs> On Tuesday, he ate through two acres of open space, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, he ate through more acreage and built a brand new $4 million education center that stands behind you. But he was still hungry. It wasn't big enough. On Sunday, the very hungry county executive wasn't feeling so well. He ate through one colorful amphitheater marketing campaign, and he wanted to build a big, beautiful chrysalis. But there were no leaves and no trees to hang from. The end. <laughs> Essex County Turtleback Zoo's goal is recreation, conservation, and education. I say let's educate the county. Yeah. Yeah. You want to teach kids about conservation? Take them for a walk in the woods. Yeah. Or are you afraid of what they will oppose your chainsaws of doing? Show them how to use binoculars. Or are you afraid of what they will see? Teach them how to look for walking sticks. Or are you afraid they will walk and talk a little taller? Teach the kids how to identify trees. Or are you afraid they will identify something else? Teach them how to respect native animals. Or are you afraid they will not let you displace those very animals? Teach, about, teach our children about this. The very first county park system in the nation. In the nation. 500 ticket paying people five times a day sitting on their bums to watch tranquilized animals perform under lights, sound, and LCD screens. This, no way, this is not conservation education. This is called animal entertainment and better suited for Orlando, San Diego, Columbus, not a suburban town of 48,000 residents already under duress from zoo traffic. It's big enough. 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 
teaching our children about being active outdoors, about mindfulness, about caring for others, about respect in peaceful communities. We want our children to get away from screens and sitting on their bottoms. We want our kids interacting, socializing. We want our kids expanding their minds through creating and working in teams to find solutions to problems. Yeah. Not sitting in groups of 500 as they drink from plastic giraffe straw cups, yeah. eating yeah. McZoo food, yeah. only to board dozens of diesel fuel buses, idling and return to their town's failing water system, littered right. shoulders, yep. and treeless streets. Right. This amphitheater project is not... This project is not conservation education. This is conservation profiteering. We see you, very hungry county, for what you are. And you eat no butterfly. <laughs> we say it's time for the very hungry county executive to get a big time out. Thank you for coming out today. We have more plans. Yeah.